So, in LCMS, uh, the detector plays an important role in uh, attaining high selectivity of the method. The mm, mass spectrometer adds a third dimension to the analytical signal. And this added mass to charge ratio uh, dimension uh, enables to attain high selectivity of the method. Let's demonstrate this on an example of analysis of Sudan dye. Sudan 1 dye is analyzed in, in a, a sample and on the total ion chromatogram all the peaks con, uh, of the compounds are visible. So we can see three major peaks, one of which is, uh, belongs to the Sudan 1 dye and uh, two major peaks from uh, unknown compounds. If we take advantage of the added selectivity of the mass spectrometer and use the extracted ion chromatogram of the mass to charge ratio 249, then only the peak uh, belonging to the Sudan 1 dye is visible. So we have achieved a very high uh, selectivity using the mass uh, detector uh, properties. Uh, even higher selectivity can be achieved if uh, advanced techniques of mass spectrometry are used. For example, tandem mass spectrometry or uh, high resolution mass spectrometry. And the mass spectrum uh, illustrates that um, using high resolution mass spectrometer, we can separate uh, peaks which would um, compose one single peak in common low resolution mass spectrometer. Could mass spectrometry be used uh, without uh, liquid chromatographic separation? In principle, yes, but uh, there are two possible drawbacks. Uh, the mixture components may have the same mass to charge ratio as the, as the analyte and therefore cause the uh, uh, interference. The other, possibility, uh, other drawback is the possible matrix effect. Uh, th therefore, uh, liquid chromatography and mass spectrometry provide um, uh, complementary selectivity and they uh, provide the highest selectivity when used in combination. Thank <laughs> you.